Today, one of the biggest insiders, gaming leakers, etc. in the industry gave a massive hint towards a Nintendo game in the works that we need to talk about just because of how important this person is and the sort of leaks they usually provide. So what are we talking about? Well, I'm not going to waste any time. Let's head right on over. We see Midori over here. Midori is an insider for Atlas and Sega. She's been proven to be as reliable as literally Pioro himself. So this is something that we do need to pay attention to. And the thing about her, and you're already seeing this news on screen, is that she usually doesn't leak a lot of Nintendo things. She did say, you know, that March 2025 is the date at the moment for the Nintendo Switch 2. So that is something that we're still paying attention to. But this is fascinating because it says a game is in development at Nintendo with the code name Banquet. And you might go, well, this doesn't mean a whole lot, but really we need to start looking around at Nintendo and what this all means. You can see some of the guesses, you know, like a Kirby game. That's a very, very popular guess. What a surprise since we have that Kirby Buffet game. Um, Forgotten Land 2, obviously Botox games going out there saying that. Someone asked them they know anything about Wind Waker. So that's fascinating. And you look, know, if that was all that was uh, to talk about, I guess that would be the video. And look, if you, that's all you wanted to know, you just wanted to know the news, that is the news in this video. But I think that we could actually go further than this and look at this website called The Cutting Room Floor. On The Cutting Room Floor, they have compiled a document that has a bunch of code names for different Nintendo properties. And I think this is something that we need to look at because we can maybe get an idea of what this game might be by looking at how Nintendo has codenamed their games. So we're over here on the cutting room floor. We're in the Nintendo section where you can see the project name and the game. So you can see like Tandem was the project name. The game was 1-2-Switch. Trike was the project name. The game was everybody's 1-2-Switch. And you can go on and down the list. And what I thought it might be fun to do is go through this list and see if there's any food-related sort of things that could relate to possible entries for what this game is. What we're trying to do is figure out what the possibilities are for this game. So as we go down, I'm looking at some different things. You have like some cacao stuff here. Nothing that I would find too fascinating or too related. Because you see they sometimes use related names. See cotton. That doesn't really seem like and then we got a carrot here. Carrot was Pikmin 3, Radish was Hay Pikmin, but they seem to be going with specific vegetables here for Pikmin games, so I don't think Buffet is really related to a Pikmin game. Uh, you can see Pumpkins as well here for 1 and 2, Carrot for Pikmin 4. So again, none of that really seems like this is probably what they're going for since that's very specific to vegetables. So we can go down this list here and try to figure out some other stuff. Cardboard. I find that <laughs> what, a, what an interesting one for a DSi game. Uh, tiger for the Nintendo eShop. Just straight up calling the, the 3DS eShop. You're Tiger. You know, you got a little tiger in you. All right, coming on down. They're great. Sorry, I can't. Dude, I just watched that weird uh, movie on Netflix about uh, the invention of the Pop-Tart. That Oh, man. It was just a funny movie. Anyways, we're going down. We got to find some other stuff in here. So we're seeing Blitz and Octa, Thunder, Cross, C, Arch, Pack Project, Next V, Step. Look, all these, Lunch. There's something that Lunch was Nintendo Land. Ooh, it would be awesome to have another Nintendo Land. It's a possibility. Lunch and Buffet, it's something you can kind of associate together. And there was one game on this list I really wanted to get to because... Honestly, it seems at least tangentially related, and that has to do with a buffet type thing. Because we're talking about banquet. Uh, if you, if it's gonna let me do it here, we can go like this and do uh, buffet. And you see that buffet was related to Super Mario Party. And if you go down to the next one, you'll obviously see that that was Kirby's Dream Buffet. But its code name was Breakfast. So I find it interesting that the only code name that seems similar to Banquet would be Buffet, which was for Super Mario Party. So perhaps, and again, still just speculation, this is for a Super Mario Party or some sort of Mario Party game. Now, why would Midori know? Maybe there's a crossover with Nintendo. 
uh, from Sega and Atlas, so maybe they're helping with development. Obviously, you can look at the Sonic games, the Sonic and, and Mario at the Olympic Games. However, uh, they don't use code names similar to this. And just to remind you again that the code name is indeed Banquet, at least that's according to Midori, is right here. And she doesn't really say anything else, just like she didn't respond uh, to this one either. You know, someone asked her about it, and there, there was just no response. And you can kind of sift through this stuff and just see other related ideas that people come up with. Uh, Kirby is one that people are just really popularly throwing out there. But they don't really use the food code names that much for Kirby, which is quite fascinating considering that Kirby, well, quite literally consumes consumes everything uh people would say that oh maybe the next smash bros probably not that but you don't know uh as info on what you just can kind of go down midori please be careful nintendo doesn't play around people worry that midori's gonna get in trouble uh you're inside every developer's walls in japan i think that this is all very interesting in the end banquet could mean anything right it could literally be the code name for the next zelda game it's not as if we know because Nintendo uses those code names for different things, but a lot of people are associating Kirby. I want to throw Mario Party in the mix as well, just because of the buffet code name. And in the end, we don't know what this game is going to be. But with Midori already teasing when the Nintendo Switch 2 is coming out, now teasing this code name, to me, this either feels like something Nintendo is going to announce this year, or it is something for the Nintendo Switch 2, or even if it is announced this year, maybe it's a Switch 2 game. I'm probably looking too much into this, but I wanted to bring you the latest updated rumors and stuff that are floating out there. Again, I want to know your speculation on what this is. I'm assuming you're also thinking Kirby. You're also maybe now thinking Mario Party, but what else could it be? And to note, she doesn't actually say that it is Sega or Atlas making this game, even though that's usually what her insiders are for. It says the game is in development at Nintendo, not a game is in development with Nintendo, a game is in development at Nintendo. So the wording itself, and I'm probably looking too much into it, but the wording does seem to suggest Nintendo themselves are making this game. But I don't know. We have to let our speculation run wild and just let things be what they may be. You guys are awesome and amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Maybe we'll have some more Nintendo news for you later today. Otherwise, we'll catch you tonight on our live stream at 8 p.m. where we'll be talking about all of the craziness going on with Switch 2 and pretty much anything else that I feel like talking about. Maybe maybe some Zelda talk, because after all, I did put a Zelda video out over this weekend. Believe it or not, I do like to talk about other things. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll catch you in the next video.